To find the number of valence electrons for NO2, we'll use the periodic table here. So each group is labeled with the number of valence electrons. All the elements in group one here, they have one valence electron. Group two, these have two valence electrons, and so on. We do skip the transition metals, they're a bit more complicated. So let's figure out the number of valence electrons for NO2 first, and then we'll look at NO2 minus. So for NO2, we have nitrogen, that is in group 15, sometimes called 5A. It has five valence electrons. Oxygen right next to it, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. That has six valence electrons. We have two oxygen atoms. We multiply that by two. We get a total of five plus 12, 17 valence electrons for NO2, which is kind of strange. We don't often get odd numbers of valence electrons, but this is the correct number for NO2. If we were writing the Lewis structure for NO2, we would distribute these valence electrons around the nitrogen and the oxygen atoms the best we could. If you need help with the NO2 Lewis structure, there's a link in the description. But what if you have NO2 minus? That kind of changes things. NO2 minus is the nitrite ion, and it's very different than this nitrogen dioxide. But if we had NO2 minus, and that would mean NO2 one minus, the charge on the whole nitrite ion would be one minus, and that would give us one extra valence electron. Electrons are negative, so if we have that one extra, we'll add that here. So instead of 17, we get 18 total valence electrons for NO2 minus. And again, if we were drawing the Lewis structure for NO2 minus, we distribute them around the nitrogen and the oxygen atoms. In this case, it would work out a little better since we have an even number. If you need help writing this Lewis structure for NO2 minus, that's also listed in the description of this video. This is Dr. B counting the number of valence electrons for NO2 and NO2 minus. Thanks for watching.